everybody. We're out here in the barn this afternoon, a little sweaty, a little dirty, been working all day. Um, I want to introduce y'all to Bayek. He's my personal three-year-old. Um, he is by um, Frenchman's Chico and out of a daughter of Dash to Fame. And one of the questions that I get asked about Bayek is, how tall is he? So let's find out. <laughs> Wow, 16 hands. That's about what I thought. And still growing. Bayek is still growing. He still has a lot of growing to do. And that's kind of the reason for the video today. When the Bayek was two and up until a few months ago, I had been riding him in our Lynn McKenzie special tree. This tree is built with a six inch gullet on a 45 degree angle. But one of the things that I started noticing is, as Bayek is growing and now starting to fill out, this saddle was just being a little bit tight on the bottom edge of this tree. He has, it has quite a bit of gap um, right up here in this gullet, but on this bottom edge of this tree, it's just a little tight right here. So, I started looking at what saddles I have available to me to use and one of the things that we had done was we had had a saddle made for Phoebe and it's on the number nine bar from Double J which is a little bit flatter bar from front to back. It has a six and three quarter inch gullet and the bar angle is on a 43. So, so this bar has a little bit more openness. It's gonna be a little bit wider across the bottom of this bar. And so it's gonna fit a horse that has a little bit more of a tabletop kind of flatter type back, which I think that this colt will eventually. But at this particular moment, when I put this tree up there, I love the way that the bars fit his back. It has a good even fit all the way around. The, the middle part of this bar of this tree is sitting flush on Bayek's back all the way around. It's not sitting on any edges. And so I really like the way that this tree fits on Bayek's back. The problem that I ran into though was when I put my saddle, when I saddled him up, this ground seat was sitting a little bit close on Bayek's wither. So this is kind of my go-to pad. I like the Bayou West felt pads, and I have them in three different widths. This is an inch, I have a seven eighths, and I have a half an inch that I use on Hope. And so this is the thickest one that, that I have. This is an inch thick Bayou West felt pad. So when I saddled Bayek up with this pad, and our Phoebe tree saddle, the problem that I ran into when I cinched this down was that the ground seat sat pretty much right on Bayek's withers. So I'm gonna get this cinched up here. Okay, so I've got this I've got my saddle cinched up like I would if I was fixing to get on. And the problem, as you can see, is that ground seat is touching that saddle pad. Now I know there's some cushion in that saddle pad, but once I get my weight in this saddle, I would really like to see quite a bit more clearance of this ground seat on this saddle pad than what is here. 
So with that in mind, I want to show you another pad that Bayou West does. Now this is the one that originally my mom was using when we when she started with Bayou West. And this pad has a foam lining inside in between this gray felt and this black felt. There's a there's a piece of foam in there. So you still have that nice felt against the horse's back, but this pad has this foam lining inside of it. And so this this width of this pad, I think it's an inch and an eighth with that foam lining in there. So it's just slightly, it's just a little bit thicker than that one inch felt pad. But when we put this one on here, with the saddle, Go ahead and cinch it all the way down like I would if I was going to get on. But now you can see we have good clearance in here. You can see, uh, you, can, you should be able to see my fingers cupping that ground seat and how much clearance there is between my fingers and that pad. There's at least that much clearance now between that ground seat and that pad, whereas before I couldn't even get my finger between the ground seat and that gray pad. So, you know, for a lot of people, and myself included, I can't go out and buy saddle pad, saddles to fit every single horse that I ride. But I can buy saddle pads because, you know, they're, they're a little bit more affordable. And Bayou West makes a really great quality pad. And so with Hope, you know, I can I just use this saddle fits Hope like a hand in a glove. And so I can just use my thin half an inch by US felt pad on her. But with Bayek, because he's still in the growing process, he's still in the filling out process, I needed a little bit more. So I went with this black felt pad with this foam lining in there. And so if you just if you're just lacking a little bit on the in the fit department, then the saddle pad can really make up the, that difference. There's no way that that it, I could put an 8-inch gullet saddle on this horse with this pad and make that work. I'm not saying the pad is going to do that for you, but if it, if you're just lacking just a little bit of fit, then this by US saddle pad, the the Lynn McKenzie line with this foam in, lining in it is a is an excellent choice for just making up that little bit of difference that you need because I mean this even if I did go and buy Bayek a, this, a saddle that would fit him exactly right now probably in six months to a year I would be wanting to get rid of that saddle and get a different saddle because it he would have filled out more and it wouldn't it wouldn't be fitting as good so for now this setup right here on, on Bayek, I really like this. I really like the way this looks. The saddle sits down evenly all the way across his back. He's got good, good uh, clearance on this ground seat. He's still got this ability to be able to move this shoulder up and under this, this uh, front part of this saddle. It cinches down evenly across his back. And so for, for, for Bayek, this pad has really helped this saddle to be the perfect fit for him.
So I wanted to show you some of the reason that I uh, um, stress getting that ground seat up off of Bayek's back is because if you look at, at, at Bayek's, how he's built right here, he's got a really long gradual slope to these withers and where they tie in, finally tie in to, to start that back is, is way deep on him. So he, we're, we're way back in, into here before those withers kind of really reach their lowest point and, that, and, they, and it goes off into that back. And so the saddle has to be able to accommodate for this as well. Well, if, if my ground seat is sitting right there on that, uh, in that area on those withers, then he's going to start to get really, really sore right there in that back. And that's going to create a whole other set of issues that I would just rather not have to deal with. So we really appreciate having companies like Double J and Buy US Saddle Pads and ADM Feed that are as much invested in their products as we are in our horses. And so thank y'all for spending a sweaty afternoon in the barn with us and hope this is um, educational for some of y'all that, that you can now uh, begin to look at your horse's backs and determine the, the type of uh, saddle pad that would best fit your horses. And I hope you all have a great evening and we'll see you later. If you like this video. Give us, be sure, oh, be sure and give us a like, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.